Of all of the economic stories we've reported in the past few years, this one is the one that has lasted the longest and affected the most people, the squeeze or cost of living crisis. Now, as you can see, over the past few years, over the past five years, we've had inflation outpacing wages. You can see here inflation, the red line, wages, the blue line. And the upshot of this is that in real terms, people have got poorer. But now, wages, excluding bonuses, are rising at an annual rate of 1.3%. You can see it here over on the far side here, 1.3% compared with inflation, which is down at 1.2%. Not a lot of difference, but nonetheless, it is above there. First time in five years. And today, the Bank of England also forecasts that in the coming months, inflation is going to fall further, perhaps even beneath 1%. So the squeeze could really be at an end. The Bank of England governor would also have to send a letter of explanation to the Chancellor. It also said, by the way, that growth uh, this year will remain comfortably above 3%, although it could drop to 2.9% next year, which is a little lower uh, than previously expected. That came as official figures showed unemployment has fallen by another 115,000 to 1.96%. Million. That's a rate uh, of 6%, by the way. That's encouraging news for the bank. What we are seeing is encouraging signs in the labor market, encouraging signs with respect to pay. We are seeing the start of real pay growth. This is consistent with our forecasts from earlier this year, consi absolutely consistent with our forecast in August. We expect this to this pickup to accelerate. Um, I think our underlying assumption uh, for two, 2015 is average weekly earnings growing a little above 3 percent. So with inflation running around 1 percent, 1.5 percent, that's real, real wage growth. But, you know, one swallow doesn't make a summer. I mean, with this, this, this has to persist for the, uh, for the recovery to be durable. But are people really feeling the recovery? Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls says there's not much yet to cheer about. The idea that people in Britain are going to be celebrating when for month after month, over four years, they have become worse off and worse off and worse off as prices have gone up faster than wages, come on. Um, it's much too early to say it's over. It's a real living experience for most people today in our country worrying about rising bills, having to have part-time work or wages which have not kept pace with prices for year after year. So the big risk is that this strong growth is going to be undermined by weakness from Europe. For while Britain's economy, and just look at here, here, grew by 0.8% in the second quarter uh, of the year, you can see that Germany, that shrank by 0.2%. France, that essentially stagnated, 0% growth. Italy down by 0.2% as well. Spain, actually, one of the few bright spots in those Euro crisis countries are doing relatively well, 0.6% in Spain. We'll learn whether Germany, Europe's powerhouse, is in recession on Friday.